Hello guys, for this video, we will be discussing about evaluating functions. From the word functions, we will be dealing with the different types of functions. Now from the functions given, we have here the f function equals 2x plus 1, g of x equals square root of x squared minus 4 h of x equals x plus 1, and m of x is equal to x squared minus 2x minus 2. Now, as what you have observed, we are actually using letters from the English alphabets. Now, functions can be denoted by any letters from the English alphabet. Now, for our first function f of x, this is an example of a linear function. The same thing with our h of x because our highest exponent here is 1. In terms of the g of x, this is an example of a square root function or radical function because of the presence of a radical sign. And m of x is an example of a quadratic function because our highest exponent here is 2. Now, how to evaluate functions? In evaluating functions, all we have to do is to find the function value. For example, if you have here f of negative 1, take note that our notation for the function here is f. So, therefore, we have to make use of the f function which is equal to 2x plus 1. Now, negative 1 here is what we call the argument. Particularly, it's a negative argument, which is equal to x. This is now the x value that we are going to substitute on our x variable from the f of x function. So all we have to do is to make use of the substitution property. So we have here 2 times negative 1 plus 1, which is equal to negative 2 plus 1, which is now equal to negative 1. Negative 1 here is what we called the function value. Take note that our f function, or f of x equals 2x plus 1, is actually continuous everywhere. Meaning to say your argument here could be any real numbers, a negative or a positive number. Now let's proceed to our next example. Now assuming we have here g of 4. This time 4 is our argument, a positive argument which is also our x value. So therefore, we will be using the g of x function. It's because we are dealing with the g notation. Now, all we have to do is to substitute. So we have here the square root of 4 squared minus 4, which is now equal to 16 minus 4. Now to note that when we say square root function, make sure that the radicand, the radicand is actually the function inside the radical sign. The value of the radicand must not be equal to a negative value. Otherwise, it will become imaginary. Now, g of x is not continuous everywhere. Meaning to say, you have to be careful because in substituting your argument, make sure that it will not give a result of a negative value inside the square root. As, as I've said, it will become 
imaginary. And here, 4 is actually qualified as our argument. So we have here the square root of 12. 16 minus 4 is 12. We know that we know that 16 minus 4, which is equal to 12, and 12 can be written as 4 times 3. So we have here 4 times 3. According to the law of radicals, we can actually give square root to each radicand 4 and 3. So this is now equal to the square root of 3 times the square root of 4 times the square root of 3. But what is square root of 4? This is just 2. And all you have to do is to copy square root of 3. Now 2 square root of 3 is our function value. Okay, next example is we will be using the h of x function. Now, h of x function is actually a linear function. So, this is continuous everywhere. Meaning, you can take any argument, any real number. So, for example, if we have here h of negative 10, negative 10 is our negative argument, which is our x value, to substitute to our x variable x from the h function. So, therefore, this is now equal to negative 10 plus 1, which is equal to negative 9. Negative 9 is our function value. <clears throat> Another example, if we have here m of 3. Now, since our notation is m, then we have to follow the m of x function x squared minus 2x minus 2. Our argument here is a positive argument. So this is now the value that we are going to substitute on our x variable. So this is now 3 squared minus 2 times 3 minus 2. Simplifying, 3 times 3 or 3 squared is equal to 9. Negative 2 times 3 is negative 6 minus 2. 9 minus 6 is equal to 3 minus 2, which is equal to 1. Therefore, 1 is our function value. Take note that the quadratic function x squared minus 2x minus 2 is continuous everywhere. And you can have any argument, any real number as your x value. Thank you guys for watching.